just feeling so happy right now, guys. The amount of tension lifted away from me makes life fantastic. Hello guys, it is LB Twunk and welcome back to my channel. What do we got going on in today's video? Well, I'm sure you could tell by the title of this video and let me just cut straight to the point. A bitch has a home again. Hear me out right here. If you guys have been keeping up with me online, um, obviously not here but over on my Instagram. 2022 has been a whole last year for Thomas. Let's flash back to January 19th, 2022, where everything honestly started to go wrong. As you guys know, I've made story times about it on my channel. I got into a roller skating accident. When I got into that accident, I ended up breaking my tibia and my fibula. Long story short, that sent me into financial ruins, if I'm just gonna be straight up honest with you guys. By the time I was healing up for my leg, my savings was ran through and my lease was ending, which in turn ended up um, me moving in with my boyfriend at the time. That all happened in like May 2022 and my credit was shot. I, like I said, was in like financial ruin. At least since May, I've honestly really just like not had my own home, had a place to like really call home. Of course, I had a place to like lay my head and rest. Past five months, honestly, I just really didn't have a home of my own. To elaborate on like where I've kind of been in those times and where I've been staying, I was in a relationship up until the beginning of October and I was staying with my boyfriend at the time. As life kind of goes, um, things just like really weren't working out. I was staying in Diamond Bar, which is this city here in Southern California, about an hour away from Long Beach, and I couldn't stay, I had to go. So at the beginning of October, I started staying with a friend, and between that time, I had already been in talks with um, the person who I'm renting this apartment from, and one thing led to another, and I finally secured an apartment. That leads us to today. Today is November 4th. About four days ago, I started my move into this apartment. This is gonna be my very first time living on my own. Now, of course, you guys know I was living with Francis for almost, I am pretty sure, just about three years. Friends move away. You aren't going to be roommates with everyone for forever. Francis is still my best friend, but we are not living together anymore. Ever since our lease ended, I've been in a crisis. I'm not going through it anymore because as of a couple days ago, I started moving in. Today, I'm going to give you guys a tour of my apartment empty before anything gets furnished because you know what? I want to show you guys kind of the transformation that this whole spot is going to kind of go through. If you guys remember from my first apartment that I had, which was when I was starting this YouTube channel, this place is going to bring some nostalgia. I'm going to give you guys what you came here to see, and that is my empty apartment tour. So let's get right into it. Did your eyes get wide and all excited? You were like 15, discovered nitrous, spending every night on empty beaches with the same four kids you'd never sleep with. You're without it. You can't party anymore, so you go and make a record about it. The hometown drug scene every 14 year old, restless, broad, sweat, dream sporting the same shades, same tank tops, same blue jeans at the same beach, and drink the same vodka sweet tea. Unfairly pass the blame and claim it was generational. Predisposition, turning prestigious, invitational, like don't look at me. Wasn't even conceived when the scheme, the game, became operational. I'm a poser, you said it yourself. Don't expect me not to pose when the cameras come out. Miss a lesson on looking out for yourself. May not be on the up and up, but I'm on the up and out. So take me to the far side of the beach before it falls into the ocean. Before you notice I'm eroding, I know you don't want to be lonely. Oh, 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 I know you don't want to be lonely. The sun and the substances you choke down combine in your mind for wild lies about how your favorite celebrity's car just broke down. They're stranded and they got a crash at your house. All the kids that are mean to you in school are broke down the side of the road asking big shots for handouts. Big shots like you because look at you, you're awesome, but you're laying on the beach like an amputee dolphin. The world just ain't ready for us yet, that's it. Says the guy to your left, you would die for that kid. Watch his eyes as they get sort of distant and different and we're moving in place again. Oh, a bitch is celebrating. We deep cleaned this place yesterday. We had leftover white claws and you know what? Why not make life a party, right? You guys kind of just saw like a little overview. So now I'm kind of gonna go into everything one by one and give you guys a proper tour instead of just an overview. 
But cheers to that. Right now, I'm standing next to my front door, as you guys saw from the beginning of the montage. I haven't really mentioned this place is a studio, by the way, with a full kitchen and a walk-in closet, full bathroom. That's really all you need. You walk in, and right to your right, we're greeted by this door. This door is gonna lead us into the closet in the bathroom, but I'm gonna kind of start with the living area first. Right to your left, when you walk in by the front door, you are greeted with this stand. Now, this kind of almost looks like it could be a TV stand, but this is kind of just extra storage. This was left by the last person that lived here. Yeah, that would have been a bitch to move, and honestly, I'm down for the storage. That's gonna be kind of directly to your left, right after you walk in the front door. Now, let's move to the left of the bathroom and closet door and move over to this. Now, what is this? You probably had already seen, but this is a Murphy bed. We love a good bed that pulls down from the wall. I was definitely struggling with this, so um, I think once I get a mattress on it, it'll definitely be a lot easier to deal with. But that's kind of nice because that leaves me with the rest of the actual living area without having to have my bed in here, which I love that because my bed could just be tucked away. Whenever I'm in a household, it's always live work anyway, so. That sounds important. Oh no, that was a piece of, a screw just fell out of here. But that's fine, this place is vintage. Most of the apartments here in Long Beach were all built in like the 1960s anyways. We love a good history moment. This is my main living area, so let me give you guys a front view of this. It's pretty much the living area. It's a good size amount of space, so my plan is I'm gonna have a living area over here, put a TV over here, put my work desk over here so I can have a place to sew and craft my little heart out. And with that being said, my Depop shop will be opening up again soon and I will be back designing clothes. Also too, look it, I got a fan and a light. That's a really basic thing, but honestly, it's something I'm very, very happy about. If you guys remember from my first apartment and I knew this place was for me when I walked in and I saw this, there are checkerboard floors in two places and one of them is the kitchen. So, Without further ado, kitchen reveal. Here is a kitchen reveal. So let's start with like the most boring part um, and that is gonna be the fridge. The fridge is honestly pretty decent size. Like I got a lot of room for food activities in here. Not, oh, um, yeah, but a pretty decent sized fridge. We got a gas stove, new countertops, new cabinets, and a new sink. And then above the sink and all that area, there's like definitely a window, but it's just a window. Favorite part about this kitchen is the amount of storage we got behind us. Big ass storage up there. We also have more storage right here, right here. There's two drawers right here, two cabinets down here. But let me show you guys the coolest part about this cabinet right here. So you see this big, middle, spaced cabinet. It is the moment. Okay, look at this. Oh, wait, before I show you that, before I show you... Oh, I guess not. That kind of really hurt. Anyways, this is for sure a table. That shit really hit my back. I'm not over that. This is adulting. Oh, let me show you guys this too. So over here, and I think this is pretty cool too, there is also what we call a central shaft in the building. I feel like I've seen this in New York when I visited, but um, I've never seen it here in Long Beach. My apartment, of course, has no like central AC and just to get wind flowing. In the middle of the units, we have just pretty much like an empty space. In this empty space, there's of course like another unit over there, but like, that doesn't really matter. This opens up into what I call the abyss. Goes up. And then also my windows open from the top too. Very much so craftsman vibes. I have one of those in there and then there's another one in my bathroom because my bathroom is like on the other side. That table fell on me so I also forgot to show you. As you can see, there's these one, two, three little pieces right here. These come down and they turn into little chairs. Literally all of them do. So say you got some friends over. I don't even need to buy kitchen chairs or a kitchen table. I got the whole kitchen right here. Love the kitchen. It's very decent size, especially for a studio to have a kitchen this big. Let's continue on behind this door with the full size mirror. Absolutely in love with that. We have more checkered floors. My favorite thing, TikTok literally made me buy this spin mop. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. But welcome to my closet. Right behind me, of course, as you can see, we have a built-in vanity, but we kind of have this built-in. We got one, two, three, four, five different drawers to choose from. It gives me a place for my clothes without having to buy a dresser. This is definitely gonna make for a fantastic makeup station. Absolutely obsessed with that. Over behind me, we have a decent amount of closet space. There's built-in um, 
racks pretty much so I can hang clothes from here. Also back here there's a bar that I can also hang clothes from. I have shelving up here, shelving also up here on this side. Built-in shoe rack at the bottom. Up here we have storage. So these two cabinets, they kind of just go to where like they end back there. This cabinet over here literally goes all the way back. So it is literally a gigantic cabinet, but yeah, that's my closet. And then it takes us to our last place, the bathroom. Of course, there's a toilet right there. This is that other central shaft window that I was telling you guys about, but we also have built-in cabinet space right here. Built-in shelving, one, two, three. Little towel rack. We got this little handy dandy mirror down below the sink, which also looks like it's a fresh sink. It's a nice sink. We have cabinet space under here, which right now is just where I'm keeping like cleaning supplies. And then we have the shower. To be honest, the shower is kind of just a pretty basic shower, but I got the shower curtain today from Target. I'm not gonna show you guys inside the shower, but it, it's just a tub with a shower. Kind of to sum up things, I just want to put it out there. Work hard, seek out your goals, don't let anything fucking stop you. I've been going through a lot this 2022, and honestly, to kind of just stand here, in a place that's gonna be my home is probably one of the best feelings. The absolute relief I kind of feel in everything. I feel like all aspects of my life have like really been a hot mess. Finally, I'm at a point where like I'm starting to feel even the smallest bit of stability. I'm just really happy. With that being said though, I'm back. And I know I've said that before, but like I'm actually back now because guess what? A bitch has a place to be back in. That's pretty much gonna conclude my empty studio tour. I really don't have anything to plug because like I'm literally not making clothes or anything right now. If you guys aren't subscribed this channel and you guys want to follow along my journey make sure you subscribe come keep up with my journey down the road i will be making another furnished department tour if you guys don't already follow me on instagram at lb twonk follow me on tiktok at lb twonk on twitter at lb twonk honestly lb twonk everywhere anyways besties i love you guys and welcome to my new home xoxo lb twonk